Hi, I'm Bern Zakowski with Esri, and joining me here today is Beth Christensen from the City of Cincinnati Police Department. So tell us a little bit about what you do at the Police Department. Right now, I am in the position of kind of a GIS manager, and what I am doing is trying to set the infrastructure up to move forward with the new data-driven approach that the police department is taking, as well with the city of Cincinnati. The department as a whole, we've, we're moving towards using things um, like map production, using the ArcGIS Online so that we can have you know, situational awareness and bring data together from all departments so that we can focus on these areas and make them a better place, a safer community. We don't have to wait for a map to be printed and then print it again because it's out of date. So we've been able to act more quickly when certain events come up, such as shootings. We can see where crime incidents are happening. So we can see patterns that are going on. We'll be able to see where officers, firefighters are, and we'll be able to have better deployment. So, you know, it's not just being able to see it on a map, but just being more efficient as a department. So what early benefits have you seen with WebGIS? Right now, it's just been the ability to communicate with our command staff as well as with the public, the ability to publish story maps and share something that the police department is trying to accomplish. We did something last year for theft from autos and we saw a tremendous amount of support from the public. So part of that is connecting with the public and informing them of what you're doing. Absolutely. And that's part of the whole police data initiative through the White House right now that's going on. And right now we're delivering data publicly, but we really want to try to take that data that's in a table right now and tell a story where we need to improve and where the citizens can actually help out. So really this is not just local, it's not just with our city, it's, it's a national standard that's really being put forward.